I'm sure a good portion of you are familiar with Kanye West. Honestly, I'd be surprised if there was a good portion of you that weren't familiar with him. And of that chunk of people, there's definitely a sizable amount that kept up with the rollout of Donda, at least to some extent. It was widely publicized, spanned over a long period of time, had three different listening parties with some crazy set pieces and stunts, was in the news cycle for a while, and it led to one of the most controversial albums of the year, which is still being discussed and played today on the radio too. And many said this rollout was a mess. And for Kanye, this was actually relatively normal. It's surprising we got the album at all. This has happened so many times before, where Kanye makes promises and just doesn't come through with them. So you said the album was coming out on Saturday. It didn't come out. What happened? Um, I didn't finish it. But this was just Kanye's most public version of it, since the performances surrounding Donda generated so much more press, and it actually did result in a product in the end. But Kanye is no stranger to just missing release dates or not dropping at all. There's actually a catalog of hundreds of unreleased Kanye songs across multiple albums. The deeper you dive into it, the crazier it gets. So let's jump into this rabbit hole. Now, just as a brief disclaimer, I'm not gonna go through a bunch of the collab albums because there are a couple of them and there's stuff that we probably don't even know about. I know there's stuff like Child Rebel Soldier, which was a group that he made with Lupe Fiasco and Pharrell. There's also continuations to other things like Cruel Winter, Watch the Throne 2, Kids See Ghost 2. And there's even stuff like a collab album with Chance the Rapper or a Dr. Dre remix of Jesus is King. But I'm mainly focused on Kanye's solo albums or just his projects in general, not even just the albums. This stuff has the most information out of anything, and it's relevant to Kanye himself and not just the other rappers. So I wanna keep it more focused by kind of ignoring those. But don't worry, I'm not forgetting about them. At least not on accident. So where does this all begin? Why does he have so many unreleased projects? Well, this is kind of normal for any rapper or any artist really. There's so many people that just make projects that never see the light of day. You could do this for pretty much any rapper. Look at Drake's catalog, Travis. Hell, Playboy Cardi is a great example of this where he has a bunch of unreleased tracks that gained popularity. It's not exclusive to just Kanye and it's not exclusive to this genre either. But Kanye is an interesting case because he's been active as a rapper and just a producer in general for so long. For decades, he's been doing this, so it's natural that he has a bunch of projects that just never saw the light of day, or morphed into something else completely. And this rabbit hole is expansive. There's hundreds of songs here, and a couple of different projects. And by that, I mean full albums. Entire albums that just never got released, at least in their original form. It's like I said, the deeper you dive, the crazier it gets. There's way more than you would have probably ever expected. Let's discuss some of the albums first, and I know this isn't everything. There's probably a bunch of stuff that we don't know about. And there's other things that might have not ever turned into full albums, but are just concepts that are out there. Consider this a brief overview. We're gonna be going more in depth as the video goes on. One example from pretty early on, at least relatively to where we are now, is Good Ass Job, an album that was a continuation of the Dropout trilogy, at least to some extent. Of course, that never dropped. And eventually parts of it did morph into My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, a worthy sacrifice. And this is gonna be a common theme here. There's a few projects that never came out, but actually morphed into something else completely. Parts of them, concepts from them, or even the entire album in general was just taken and put into another album that came out later on. There's also Thank God for Drugs, basically an early version of Yeezus. There's also Yeezus 2, obviously a sequel to Yeezus. Then there's So Help Me God, which is one of my personal favorite eras. Parts of that eventually morphed into an album called Switch, which eventually turned into The Life of Pablo. I could go way deeper into this, but there's a lot of conflicting sources, the info might not be accurate, and I don't wanna just focus on one individual album either. So sorry for the brevity here. There's also TurboGrafx-16, which just never came out. That's just an album that never really turned into anything as far as I know. I'm sure elements of it are present on other places, but that kind of exists on its own. Same for Love Everyone to some extent, that also did kind of morph into Yay, but also at the same time, there were a lot of things on here that just never saw the light of day, for better and for worse. There was an album called God's Country. There was gonna be a sequel to Jesus is King. And Donda actually went through a few different phases. There was Donda from 2020. Then there was Spirits Over the Horizon and eventually Donda, which we got actually released. So cool, that one actually came out even though it went through a few different phases. And you might've noticed I omitted something. There's something that I skipped over completely because this one actually deserves to be talked about more in depth, Yandi. A lot of you might actually know this one. And it's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. It got publicity, it was announced to be released sometime soon, and just never dropped. It seemed like it might have actually occurred because there were snippets out there, there was leaks, there was promotion from it, but it never came out. Of course, elements of it did make it onto later albums. 
And that's exactly why I wanna talk about this one. This is a perfect example of this rabbit hole. Many people thought that when Kanye announced Donda, that album would have the same fate as Yandi. Thankfully it did actually drop, but Yandi, this one is a huge project. It has so many different tracks that have been leaked, and that's just the stuff we know about. It's been worked on for a while, and even though it never dropped, some tracks did make it onto other albums. Like, for example, they did appear in a different format, but Jesus is King, there's Law of Attraction, which eventually turned into Use This Gospel, or The Storm, which turned into Everything We Need, or Sela, which turned into Sela. Jesus Christ did the laundry and these songs have been sanctified, but they are actually leftovers from Yandi. Funny enough, they're rougher than the Yandi versions too in some cases, thanks to Kanye recording on an iPhone probably, which is what exactly it sounds like. I would know because sometimes I record on an iPhone, like right now. There's also some other infamous tracks on here, like Alien and New Body, for example, the latter of which is pretty popular amongst Nicki Minaj fans because she's on there and it's actually a really good song. I'm surprised this one never came out. Well, not really. It wouldn't really fit the subject matter of albums like Donda. It would actually be terrible on that one, but I'm digressing. It's a song about plastic surgery. It wouldn't fit on an album for his mother. There's also I Love It, which actually did release as a single. I'm sure you guys know this one because this, this video. There's actually a few versions of these songs out there that weren't Jesusified. Is that a word? No, that's a word now, Jesusified. And they're pretty close to completion with completely different lyrics and meanings. It's actually insane how many different leaks exist for this album. Granted, the album was still very unfinished and probably still is, even if we compiled everything together, but it's kind of sad that some of these songs never saw the light of day. Going further, we have Hurricane, a track used to promote Yandi and one of the most infamous unreleased tracks in existence. Of course, it eventually did release on Donda, but the release version is very different from the original. Hell, even in the first listening party for Donda, it's a completely different song. Closer to the Yandi version, actually. The instrumentals, lyrics, features, etc. All those are different. Just like Yandi is the best example for all these projects that Kanye works on, Hurricane's probably the best example of an individual song that just never got released, or at least something that keeps morphing into another project. Who knows how many songs like Hurricane are in the vault? Well, we know there's hundreds, but Hurricane is a rare example of a song that actually evolved multiple times and got released. Why am I so focused on this song though? There's like 30 different versions of Hurricane leading up to Donda. That's why. That's insane. Granted, this track was definitely gonna be some sort of single promoting Yandi or some sort of headlining track, and it ended up being a single on Donda, so it kind of makes sense. If it's gonna be a popular song, of course it's gonna be a tweaked a bunch. But over 30 different versions, with a couple dozen different features and lyrics and everything. Hell, even the production differs along these versions. I can make an entire video based on Hurricane alone. Just compare the version that we got today to the one that we got when Yandi was first promoted. It's a completely different song, basically. And who knows how many other songs went through a similar fate. Hell, even from the release songs, who knows what they started out as? Maybe they were completely different from the get-go. Like, Lift Yourself, for example. That one was originally gonna be intended for Drake, which turned into, well, you guys know what it turned into. But shifting the focus away from Yandi, another album that had a crazy history is The Life of Pablo, which I did briefly touch upon. Even up until launch, that album is actually kind of like Donda when you look back at it. A hectic rollout, live updates to the album to fix stuff, things like that. But the stuff beforehand was also just as insane. It went through multiple different iterations. You could actually date back the foundation of this album to Yeezus 2, which eventually turned into So Help Me God, then Swish, then Waves, then The Life of Pablo, which then changed again after release with new mixes and changes to tracks, plus a completely new track that was never on the album to begin with, which is St. Pablo, and I'm glad this happened because this is my favorite Kanye song, so hey, it's good that something saw the light of day. Similar to Hurricane though, there is one leaked song that garnered a lot more focus than others, specifically from this era. However, it's not as widely known, but it has garnered a cult following among some Kanye fans, a song that only exists in a few low quality snippets and some other versions of it, intended for the album So Help Me God. The song Can You Be. It goes by multiple different names, was rumored to be on multiple different projects, and probably had some other features on it like Travis Scott, but this one has such a weird history. There's so little we know about it, and it's kind of become a meme amongst Kanye fans because it does sound good, but all we have is a few low quality snippets like I mentioned. You barely hear any parts of the song. But that curiosity is what fuels people. It's a grail. People wanna get this song leaked so badly. But it doesn't seem like that's happening anytime soon. Hopefully I'm wrong though. Just like Hurricane, it's another great example of an unreleased Kanye track, although on the complete other end of the spectrum. Hurricane, besides the fact that it actually dropped, we had so much info about it. I mean, people knew the song before it even came out. But Can You Be exists on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. It's kind of mysterious. We have little bits of info about it, and we know it sounds good. It's just, we don't really know to what extent. And the mystery kind of adds to it in a way. Whether we know a lot about the leaks or a little about the leaks, people are gonna be interested regardless, wondering why some great songs were just never dropped at all. 
or trying to solve the mystery behind these other ones that never dropped. For all we know, there's some amazing songs in here that we've never heard of. Hell, there's some that we probably don't even know exist. Like we have rumors of some, we have snippets of some, we have full leaks of some. But these are just the ones we know about. Some very dedicated Kanye fans have compiled a list of all the unreleased stuff, and I obviously can't play any of the songs here because of copyright, but there's whole groups of people that are dedicated to this, piecing together Kanye's lost media catalog. Honestly, I'm pretty intrigued by it too, not just because there's some great music there, but it's just fascinating to watch this all unfold. It's even still happening to this day with Donda 2. At the time of recording this video, Donda 2 hasn't fully dropped. It did kinda drop, but it's unfinished. Hopefully it is finished in the future. But even with this album, there's leaks that always come out. Different versions of the songs that we actually got played at that listening party for Donda 2. And with the internet growing more and more, as well as Kanye's fan base growing more and more dedicated, I expect this catalog to grow even more in the coming years. Especially when Kanye keeps making new projects, whether they release or not. And as I mentioned, this isn't exclusive to him. You could take pretty much any other well-known artist and they probably have similar circumstances. Songs that were scrapped, songs that were given to other artists, songs that are unfinished, or things that just never saw the light of day even if they are finished. There's multiple different reasons for all of this. It could be issues with sampling, it could be a project completely changing into something else, the artist could just lose motivation, or maybe they could even just forget about stuff. We'll never know for sure. But besides the fact that I'm a big Kanye fan and know a lot about his unreleased catalog, at least relative to the average person, that's why I chose to cover him. A massive catalog of so many unreleased things. Not just individual songs, but entire projects. It's really interesting to look at. Hell, this even dates back to before the college dropout. There's stuff from there too. This catalog is so expansive, and it's really interesting seeing different projects grow into something else. But most importantly, it makes you wonder, what is it like for every other artist? If this is Kanye, how many other artists have catalogs that go this deep? Of course, Kanye is a very different case. Like I mentioned, he's been around for a while and he's also a producer too, so there's that aspect of it as well. And it's a really interesting peek into what goes on behind the scenes for these artists. Who knows though, maybe someday one of these projects will be revived. Alien and Can You Be will finally be released. Maybe Yandi will finally drop. Hell, we're still waiting for Donda 2. When's that coming out? Watch The Throne 2, Kitsy Ghost 2, any of these unreleased solo or collab albums. That remains to be seen though. For now, we could just watch the madness occur. Watching this catalog grow larger and larger by the day. That's still fun, isn't it?